Hello everybody, I am Tom and you are watching me play Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Um, last time we beat the Guardian Ape in one try, I might add. Uh, we killed a few Headless in one try, I might add. Um, <laughs> um, but in doing so, the only place I think I have left to go is Senpo Temple and explore there more. So I'm going to head off there, but first things first, we have a bunch of alcohol to give to um, the Sculptor here to get more lore. その指をどこで手に入れた落ち谷の獅子猿が食らっていたそうか猿の腹の中とはなそいつは貸しなお前さんの忍び義手に仕込んでやろう I forgot we got this actually. I, I made note last time that the sculptor told when we gave him monkey booze, I, th I think it was monkey booze. It could have been one of the other alcohols, but I'm pretty sure it was monkey booze. He said that he um used to train up in the mountains with another shinobi with the monkey, and the other shinobi used to have this uh, ring on his finger that would whistle as he ran through the air. And this is apparently what this tool does. Finger whistle. Here we go. But it seems like he had literally holes in his fingers, which is interesting. By the look of the picture, in any case. A prosthetic tool created by fitting a slender finger to the prosthetic. Cause spirit emblems to use, its sound will grab an enemy's attention and draw them to the whistle's location. By locking onto a target, only the targeted enemy will hear the whistle. Oh, that's really cool. The sound of the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to swing a friend from foe. Attract enemy attention by blowing the finger whistle enraged enrages beasts, making them unable to swing a friend from foe. Only the targeted enemy can hear the finger whistle when locked on. If no card is locked on, all surrounding enemies will hear the sound. That's really, really cool. Like, really cool. Um, where are its upgrades? All prosthetic tools. That's cool. Um, here. Taking a deep breath before performing a whistle allows for the sound to be delayed. Interesting. What would be the point of that? Mountain Echo. Produce a delayed sound after blowing the finger whistle. I guess so you can blow it, then move, so they don't know where you are. And then this one, um, can be used to drive beasts mad and to torment apparition type enemies. Kingfisher is etched into the ring. The Kingfinger's, the Kingfisher's cry could be heard along the waterfront of Sunken Valley. Now she cries no more. Interesting. I kind of want to upgrade like a bunch of shit, but, um, at the same time, it costs a lot of money to upgrade. And I may need to buy stuff later. Also, I don't have all the upgrade materials for a lot of this stuff. Um, for instance, I'm missing... Fulminated Mercury? I've never found Fulminated Mercury. And I'm missing some specific things I need for upgrading, it looks like. Anyway. What I'm really here for is to give him this Dragon Spring Sake. Sake o motte kita. Oh, Liu Sen ka. Zuibun toji o mono da. Morau to shio. Jitsu ni shimiru. Ya hari kore jia. Yoku dogen to. のみかわしたもんだ。今に尺をしてもらってな。エマとの <笑> なんやついてきてな。それから。え。なんだかんだって。共に足並み厄介になることになった。道元の養女になったのもその時よ。うん。アドプテッドオーダー。メイクセンス。まあ、どこだろうが忍びといるよりよほど幸せじゃろう。Interesting. He seemed a bit sad there that she was like brought in by Dogen 
rather than him because clearly he loved her. Hmm. Um, but we actually spoke to Emma. We gave Emma alcohol of some description. I can't remember when, but she talked about how she was saved by a monkey on a battlefield. Wow. Shadows. Shadows glitched twice. <laughs> We're at like a rave here. Boom, 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 What is with that specularity? That's really weird. Oh well. Nothing that I'm particularly worried about. Also, the weather has changed again. Or weather, or time of day, both, I guess. It seems the further you go through the story, the more areas change. Which makes sense. Uh, so, where I wanted to go was to Sempo Temple. I guess the main hall. There didn't seem like... The only place where there was a side path that I couldn't go before was the main hall. So, we'll try going up there. Hmm. There was a dude here who is now gone. Those guys are still there. There used to be a, a man here. He's now gone. Inspect. A bell. Is it a bell? Yes. In interesting. How did I know to do that? Other than the fact it's a bell, I guess. What else do you do with a bell other than ring it? But... Oh! This is new. Is this illusion? Or did that teleport us? It's hard to tell in a game like this, where the, uh, the idea of teleportation is perfectly acceptable. Although it looks like illusion. Elusive Hall Bell. Also, that is clearly see no evil, speak no evil, and hear no evil, but they are looking, speaking, and hearing. So, that's kind of funny. Um, I'll show it better off in a second, but... A five-pronged bell made of aged bronze can be used repeatedly. When rung, monkeys and wolves alike are returned to their initial states. However, a monkey caught in the folding screen will not escape whether the bell is rung or not. ベトルン。いやいや、そんなことはないですよ。あの人は目つきは確かにいいとは言えねえです。だけども、とてもいいお人です。おい。ん?おお、あんたか。よく来てくれたな。ほら、みんな、忍びさんも来てくれましたよ
Oh, folding screen monkeys. Interesting. Dosto. Miko sama tachi mo arigato to itte iru. Mina kawaii kotachi ja. Miko mina. Well, he seems happy at least. He seems that he can see the spirits of dead, dead the dead children, maybe. Well, I mean, that was something. <laughs> I was trying to look over the edge of the building and there was something here. And then I just attacked it and it was a monkey that died. The health bar is gone. I guess he was the invisible monkey, hence I couldn't... He was blank before. Interesting. But you can see here, this one is... See no evil, but he's looking places. And that was the one that we saw before that had the, um, the glasses on. And this one's speak no evil and he's shouting. And this one here is hear no evil. And he is listening. The holes of illusion. ここを出たがっている。うん。それならば、屏風に書かれた猿たちを捕まえなされ。さすれば、巫女様のお声がかかりましょうや。くる。紫着物の猿は。うん。いや。ミルザルです。目がよく遠くまで見え、よく気がつく。尋常なら近づく前に姿を見られ、逃げられてしまうでしょう。ひどく臆病な猿ですゆえに。大々生き物の猿は、ユーザルです。目も耳も。特に良いということはないのですが人を見れば大騒ぎして猿たちは皆にてしまいますあるいは人をからかっているのでしょうかパハプスアンドグレーマンズヒアリングキュレンヤーパハプス well, I can see the hearing one. He's right in front of me. He's exceedingly timid. Ah, ホトケ様の悟りに近しい。ああ、そういえば、かつてあなたと同じく使命あるものがおりました。しばらく猿たちを追いかけていたと思いますが、いつか静かになりました。well, thank you. Nirvana, by the way, is like essentially heaven in Buddhist and I think Shinto as well, technically. Maybe just Buddhist uh, teachings. Uh, can I just do this? No. Is <laughs> the answer. I feel like this place, this place seems pretty safe, in all honesty. Like, the hard part is sneaking up on the monkeys.
Yeah, whenever we moved, he could hear us. Not anymore! Alright, that's two down. That's the talking monkey. So he was the one that was ringing the bell. That's weird. Is that the purple monkey up there? I should also, uh, I was fighting headlesses before, that's why I've got this set up on my bar. Uh, let's put this back on. That's the purple monkey. Gaishin Spirit Falls should help me here. He has really good eyesight, apparently. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as the Spiritfall ran off, he saw me. Now he can't. Turn around, monkey. I also love the fact that the the monkey with good eyesight literally has uh, glasses on, which is kind of funny. At least I find that kind of funny. So he's on the other side of this rooftop. I should be able to kill him pretty easily, I think. I think I should be able to... Ow. These are illusion monkeys. Alright, there's the, the the monkey with good eyesight. Did he see me again? He freaking did. God damn. I mean, there's good eyesight and then there's that. <laughs> he just sees me from a million kilometers away. I think maybe just running at him is the correct option. Also, those monkeys did terror, which is kind of annoying. I'm just going to run after him. I don't know where he went. I saw footprints. You ain't... Can't catch me. I'm kind of regretting... Uh... Oh, he ran this way. Um, I guess he jumped. There he is. I might be able to get him from around here. Also, these monkeys are coming after me, so I kind of want to kill them. Goddamn monkeys. I really don't want to die to terror. That would suck. Alright, cool. Monkey's dead. Um, alright. So we want... Gajin Sugar. 
because I'm out. I can't use Spirit for anymore, right? No, apparently I can. I got more things. Sweet. Wait, did he leave? Wait, where'd he go? Alright, this one by far is the hardest. I honestly didn't even see where he went. Um, okay. I don't think we're gonna get any more monkey spawning, which is nice, I suppose. Okay, I see his feet. Oh, there he is. I guess there aren't going to be monkeys spawning up there anymore. I think. So maybe I can Gaijin him to death. Alright. Gaijin sugar. He's already gone! I don't understand how he's as good as he is at seeing me. Well, I kind of do. That's, that's his whole thing, is that he's the seeing monkey. I wonder if there's a way I can trap him, maybe. There we go. Hey, bitch. Who's got you now? Folding stream monkeys. Sweet. I didn't want to leave. Oh, it brought me back to the start. Fair enough. Kuro? Doesn't sound like Kuro. Kind of did, to start with. Let us meet at the Inner Sanctum. Interesting. This is obviously like the really holy person that we're talking about. I think he said it was like a girl that I had to give something to. Like he gave me like a... I can't remember specifically. Oh. The inner sanctum as it were. I guess this is probably at the other side of the door? Folding stream monkeys. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with the Sculptor's Idol and confront memories of battle permanently increase attack power. The Folding Tree Mummies guarded the Hall of Illusions and befriended the Divine Child of Rejuvenation. Uh, acquire skills Puppeteer Ninjutsu. Ninjutsu technique that manipulates the victim like a puppet. Cost spirit emblems to use. Activate after a backstab death boy. This technique temporarily forces one who should have fled this realm to remain. A puppet moves on behalf of its master, but its strings are... Destined to snap. Does that tell me what that is more specifically? Not really. Uh, manipulates the victim, turning them against their allies. Okay, sweet. Let's try that out. Uh, what was the cost on that? Spirit emblem wise? Five. The other one was six, I think. Okay. Oh, I can go to the Hall of Illusions. I kind of want to do that, but not yet. Because I didn't explore the Hall of Illusions properly, it kind of teleported me out. 
That looks like a young girl by the look of it. Um, yeah, enhanced attack power. Why the hell not? The battle memory of extra. Blah, 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 blah. The halls of illusion lie on a threshold betwixt life and death. Departed souls of the divine children drift and sway, taking shelter in the monkey, monkeys of the temple. Such is why the divine child of rejuvenation speaks of them as friends. De Departed souls of the divine children drift and sway. Taking shelter in the monkeys of the temple. Interesting. That implies to me, at least, that the previous children, divine children, like previous children of the dragon's heritage, turn into monkeys? Hmm. Yeah, that's a young girl, by the way. もとめに抜け抜かたなとご存知かああ抜け抜とは抜いて帰ったものがおらぬということそれでも試されるのですかいやしょそうですかわかりました I need it. Otherwise, I can't cut Kuro, apparently. To get his blood. It's a cool looking sword. ridiculous. I mean, I can resurrect, so that helps. I suppose, which is, I guess, is the whole point. Interesting. She sees it as a curse as well. Kuro was beginning to. Oh, sweetest. <laughs> That's so cool. Mortal Blade. An Odachi capable of slaying the undying. Its crimson blade will take the life of any who dares draw it. Without the power of resurrection, one could not hope to wield this weapon, which al allows one to defeat even infested beings. Long concealed within Senpo Temple, the blade is inscribed with its true meaning. Gracious gri gift of tears. Gracious gift of tears. Interesting. Look at that gun on my back! It's so cool. Anatawa. Ruin no Miko ni tsukairu o katana no desne. Oh. Nani ue. Fushigiri o motomeru no deska. Senkyo ni ryu no namida o teni. Tears, that makes sense. Fushidachi o hotas tameni. Naru hodo. Yonda koto ga arimas. Ruin o tatsube ga aruto. Hmm. つまり巫女は流院を厭われておいでなのですねそうだ巡り合わせとは稲者ですね私は落ちの巫女たちの一人品津の愚道者たちが作り上げた偽りの流院を集めたのです there were, presumably. Yeah. And they became the monkeys. そうか。不死を立つことが正しいのかはわかりません。なれど流院が人の生き方を歪める。それを憎むのは私も同じ。巫女の忍びを私も
Rice that's spilled from the palms of the ch child of rejuvenation gradually restores vitality for a time. Even in falsehood, the power of the dragon's blood brings a bountiful harvest. Rice is precious. The flavor grows richer with each bite and is sure to raise one's spirits. <laughs> I can give that to the old woman. The old woman needed rice. Tastes better than one more eats it. Interesting. Um, let me just check the mortal blade description. Gracious gift of tears, and we need it to get the tears of the dragon. Interesting. Also, rice I can give to that old lady who was talking, she's constantly talking about rice. So, I can now give her rice, I suppose. And it seems that it's just a pellet. I kind of want to use it to try it out, but I'm going to give it to the lady instead. Also, it's very interesting there that I now understand the difference between the rejuvenating waters and the dragon's blood. I thought they were linked, but it seems that, and I think they kind of are, I think the rejuvenating waters are kind of a, a runoff of the dragon's blood heritage. But it seems to be that the rejuvenating waters come from her, and she was created by whether these monks or someone be, who came before them, um, tried to create an imitation of the Divine Child so they could create immortality for themselves. And that's what Genichiro took to become invincible, essentially. Or invulnerable, at the very least. Um, request rice. Okay. Here we go. Yes. それは<笑> Okay, so I wonder about this rice as well, whether or not... Hmm, she says it'll take longer, but I don't know what that means specifically. Before I can get more. I guess maybe I can only hold one at a time, perhaps? Although it said uh, one of three in my thing, so... Alright, so I want to go back to the Hall of Illusions. But I also want to check around here for items. Case in point, one right here. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, it seems to me that... Clearly she, like, is surprised that Kuro, bes like, forsakes his heritage. Presumably the previous ones didn't. Or she doesn't expect them to, anyway. But also the fact that, like, clearly she was put through hell to actually she was the only one who survived the rest of them became the monkeys to protect her but clearly she doesn't like the idea of immortality so she's quite happy to help us get rid of it do you have anything else to say Kotaro? <laughs> no nope. so Kotaro is happy over here what have you got to say Sonata. to explore and to loot Fair enough. So, not what? so this guy seems happy enough with Kotaro being here. Interesting. He seems... infested as well. So that guy seems to be wanting to try and get enlightenment. And he's trying to get that by... Coming to this place, which I guess, I mean, living your whole world in a world of illusions. I could see that being, like, a road to enlightenment. I don't know if there's going to be anything in here that's actually going to be worth me looting, because this place is, like, a one big ass illusion, so... It seems unlikely that there's going to be stuff here that I'll be able to take back to the real world, but you never know. Kotaro was from the real world, and I took him here, wow. place looks awesome. I grant you that.
Below is an abyss, the bottom cannot be seen. Above is darkness, darkness, nothing can be seen. Interesting, I guess maybe you can lead the seeing monkey up into this part, and then it's so dark that he can't see you. Maybe that's a thing. I can see in the dark, but maybe the monkey can't. And that's obviously death. Interesting. And then there was this place as well, with the Buddha statues. This is where the monkey kept dropping down? What does this say? A bare flame in the wind. When it goes out, the place becomes dark as night. Oh! Does it make this place dark, and then he can't see, so you can catch him? <laughs> yeah, it totally does. That would have been easier. So you can just open this door, chase him into this room, and then he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Interesting. Okay. So I know for next time how to do that easier. Also, I don't know how to leave this place. I guess I could just homeward idle my way out of here. I kind of want to stand under the middle of this as well, just to see what's what. Hmm. Certainly strange. I like it, though. There actually is a way for me to leave here just normally, so I'll go this way. Alright, so we're coming up on time. I kind of want to see where this leads and how this links back up to the rest of Senpo Temple. Also, I have the Mortal Blade, which is cool. I also got the uh, Ninjutsu, which is also really cool. I don't know what I would use that on specifically, but I guess we can find out. I guess I can just like control an enemy maybe? Also, I don't know how to use the Mortal Blade. I don't know whether I can, if I'm perfectly honest. That may be like a story only thing, but it looks really cool on my back. Yeah, this came exactly where I expected it to. Good. I just come here and there's this sweet. Alright, um, I'm going to go back to Kuro. I can't teleport to Kuro's room. That's intriguing. Um, can I go... I can't teleport anywhere to Ashna Castle. Except for the abandoned tunnel entrance. Interesting. Also somewhat worrying, I suppose. Um, I'm just going to leave it here for now because that implies to me that there's going to be some crazy ass story shit going on later. Um, but thanks for watching. I shall see you next time where we're going to go and walk the long way back to Ashina Castle, I suppose, and see what the fuck's going up there. But thanks for watching and I shall see you next time. Bye. Actually, no, before I leave, I take it back. I want to go... I mean, shit, what's the quickest way to get there? Shug Shugendo? Maybe? Yeah, probably Shugendo. Um, it's probably going to push this episode a bit later, but... Yeah, what you going to do? I may cut out some of the monkey stuff, but I doubt it. I'll probably just leave it all in. Alright, so if we go this way and we can find this old lady who wanted rice, um, I'm going to ignore all these enemies, because fuck them. Yoink. Old lady over here, you wanted rice, right? The other is dry, the other is over there, the fresh one is over there. Give rice. Um. What a munch sound.
気を欲するならばタコあげくぐつ回しでタコあげなさい。Oh. Oh. Wind the puppet. Puppet master jutsu. I do, don't worry, Sekiro. I've got this covered. <laughs>、uh. Alright, I know what she's talking about. Okay. We've got some shit going on here, boys.、Um, Lost Moon Idol. There was a dude right down near the winch where that kite was. I bet I can puppet master him, and if I puppet master him, maybe he'll hold the kite out. Ooh, I'm not entirely sure what that'll do for me, but we'll find out, I suppose.、Uh, let's travel. I want to go Senpo Temple. I want to go this one. That's the quickest way to run through. I should be able to run past everything, it should be fine. Okay. So we want to go this way. Down here is where the kite was, also, this guy here can die. Do I have the Pop Master on? I do. Oh my god! Yep, he totally does. He's gonna wind it out. So now I need to run up to the other area.、Um, I don't want to teleport because I think it'll probably. It'll reload all the enemies, which will mean that this guy. Also, there's another Senpo guy there. Actually, looks like I talked to that Senpo guy. Is that Black Hat? Here's Black Hat. Hey, buddy. Huh? You also came to this temple? You? Huh. You said to me. Huh. 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 Kugutsu no Jutsu. I've seen you for the first time. You don't have to do it. Huh. 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 Interesting. Interesting. So he saw, he actually watched me and saw me do the Puppet Master Jutsu, which is interesting. Oh my god, no one can see me. These monks are blind as bats. Look at this shit. I just ran up the whole path without them seeing me at all. Speedrun strats. No one knows I'm here. Uh, I don't need to kill this guy. So now I want to go out here. And there's a. F oh, I can grapple to it! Huh. Alright, this episode's gonna be long. Just putting that out there.、Um, I bet I can. Oh,、uh, I can grapple off this maybe? Yep. There's also a path down here. But I think that's just if you fall too far, I think is what that's for. I don't think that's anything. Oh, I think we're gonna kill a snake. I think that's what's about to happen, by the way.、Um, this may end up going way longer this episode if we have to do like a proper fight on this snake.、Um, oh, hello, Black Hat. I don't know how the fuck you beat me here, but you did. I guess he was thanking me for using the Popper Master Jutsu. Hey. Yo, Omega. 
Old chuckles. ガキがいなくなった後何やら急にラッパの人が面倒になってな。落ちの試しだ、人さらいだ、黒傘の席無だ。この寺は何もかも面倒くせえ。だから抜けたか。ああ。さてと。これでやぼようは済んだ。他に当てもねえし足名の城にでも戻るとするかねえどこだろうがこの寺よりはマシってもんだ。Interesting. Chad Corpse is the name. Interesting. That's why probably why I can't teleport there. Huh. By pure coincidence, I found all this out. Probably figured this out already. Ashna, you know, she reeks of charred corpses and gunpowder, something fierce. The rats are flooding in like you wouldn't believe. Huh. Uh, excuse me for a second. Alright, and we're back. Um. I may reiterate myself here because I had like sort of cut out a bit where I had to go <laughs> answer the door. Um, but his child has died, and this is the grave of his child. And he could he could only get over here if that kite was flown out here. But I was correct in assuming that he was actually a defector from uh, Sempo. He also let us know that Ashna Castle is being attacked by the sounds of it by Ishin's enemies. Uh, yeah, sure, arrest. Why not? That's why we can't teleport there. <laughs> Which kind of makes sense, I suppose. Um, also, I cut myself off by when I saw Black Hat, but I think we're going to kill the snake, and the reason I think that... Sunken Valley Passage. Sweet. Is because... Yep, here he is, right here. Oh, so we're above. The bridge is down there. Interesting. That was the bridge. Um, let me... I'll show it more specifically. That bridge down there is the one that Snake broke, that we walked out of. And that's the lake we went under. Okay. Alright, I know where I am now. Um, the reason I know that this is how we get the uh, kill the snake is because she told us about the ripe fruit. And I've just realized what she's talking about, the ripe fruit and the dried fruit, is the serpent viscera. I don't know the point of the serpent viscera, but it's a thing. Fuck you, snake. <laughs> there we go. Fresh Serpent Viscera. The Persimmon-like heart of a great serpent. The great serpent is considered to be a god of the land, and the heart is believed to be where one spirit resides. While its shape bears similarity to the Persimmon, in fact, this is a red viscera of a god. It is safe to assume that eating it would be poisonous to one's health. Fair enough. I don't know why anyone would eat it. Also, this land is on the other side of the bridge, which is nice. So I guess I can run up this way. Where does this lead? To some items, it seems. Dragon Spot Droplet. And a Buddle Jizo statue. And also a dead guy. I guess a monk who was searching for... Looks like a monk, probably. Searching for, uh... What's the word? Enlightenment. And that down there... I think is where the arena was where we fought the giant ape. Because you could actually see the snake up here from down there. I didn't point it out at the time, but... Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. This has been a very fast-paced PlayStation for me. This is the third episode I've done this PlayStation. Um, and by Jove, the amount of stuff we have done.
Alright, so there's a couple of things I want to do. I want to know how um, this rice works if I use it like an item. Last commune, it's fine. And in so doing, I think... I want to test a few things with the rice, essentially. I want to know what it does any different to a pellet, and if it's any different to a pellet, or whether it's just... Oh, you're still here. Hello. Fair enough. I like Black Hat. It's one of the nicer characters in this game, in all honesty. Alright, uh, travel. I'm used to From Software games having everyone being an arsehole. Uh, Sempo Temple. Inner Sanctum. Can I have some more rice? I gave it to an old lady. This time the rice grew well. Hold that hand, please. Plus a bountiful harvest. Alright. My assumption is you can only have one at a time, but you can get as many as you want. That seems to be what the go is here. Alright, so I'm gonna teleport. Alright, sweet. So if we use this rice... Um, the effect looks very similar to a pellet. Uh, where is it? Here. Um, gradually recovers HP for a time. It heals a lot faster than a pellet. So it's, it's the same function as a pellet. And it seems to last for a long time as well, actually. Like a really long time. My god. Still going. Pellets like run out way slower than that. Alright, there we go. So it's a better pellet, essentially. And it looks like maybe you can only have one at a time. Let's see. Give me a second. Um, I think now that I've gotten rid of that, I can probably just go straight back to her and get another one. We're nearly at an hour in this episode. I may cut out some running around. We'll see. And some testing and all that kind of stuff. To try and shorten it down a bit, but... She was asleep. Interesting. Interesting. Maybe you just have to, like... I travelled places, right? Maybe I need to rest? Hmm, I guess not. I wonder what actually defines when you can get rice or not. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thank you for watching, and I shall see you next time. We got a lot done. Actually, I don't know how much we got done this episode in all reality. We beat the monkeys and found her. But, like, it feels like I've done heaps, just because this play session has gone, like, really, really fast with the stuff we did. Like, I didn't have to repeat any bosses because I managed to kill them all first try. So everything just went one to the other really, really quickly. I didn't have to repeat anything, which makes things feel like it's going faster, I guess. But, anyway, thanks for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.